Hi, welcome to our October Kids Cook at Home class. Get excited, it's gonna be a spooktacular one. I'm Jess, one of your registered dietitians, and today we're gonna be making werewolf fingers and banana ghosts. So to get started with our werewolf fingers, I've already preheated the oven to 400 degrees and now I'm gonna go wash my hands. So to get started, we have our bowl for our eggs, our bowl with our flour in it, and our bowl with our coconut flakes, smoked paprika, garlic powder, and pepper. So we're gonna crack our eggs. You can have a parent do this for you or give it a try. So after cracking our eggs, we're gonna wash our hands. Next, grab your fork and we're gonna beat the eggs together. You can also use a whisk. So the eggs are ready. Now we have our unsweetened coconut flakes and our smoked paprika, garlic powder, and pepper. And we're gonna mix those up. I like to use my hands. get them nice and mixed up. I have my plate of chicken tenders here. So being careful with raw chicken, you're gonna pick one up, put it in the flour, put it in the egg, then our coconut until it's nice and coated with coconut and looks nice and hairy. and then put it on your prepared tray. And repeat with all of your chicken tenders. Now that all our chicken tenders are coated, we are gonna wash our hands because we always wash our hands after dealing with raw meat or uncooked eggs. So we have our cream cheese and our sliced almonds here. So I like to go through and find the most naily looking almonds. So you're gonna pick that up, use your butter knife, take off just a little bit of cream cheese, spread it on your nail, and then press it onto your finger. So pressing it onto, usually there's a skinnier end to the tender, so I like to do it on that end and you're just gonna keep going, finding the best looking almonds you can. Now that our nails are on our chicken tenders, or now they look like werewolf fingers, we are gonna put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Make sure that you have an adult temperature check your chicken to make sure it's 165 degrees um, in the middle. While our werewolf fingers are cooking, we are going to make banana ghosts. So here I have some bananas. We have large chocolate chips and then we have mini chocolate chips. So you can see we've got regular size and mini size here. So what we're gonna do is take one banana at a time and we're gonna peel them. I like peeling from the bottom up because that tends to go a lot better. And then you're gonna cut your banana in half. So these are gonna be our two ghosts. Figure out where you want to have his face be. You're gonna take a small chocolate chip 
and put it in pointy end first so that it really sticks in there. And then, so here are his eyes. And then we are going to take a large chocolate chip for his mouth. And there he is. So you're just going to keep doing that with all of your bananas so you have a little ghost village. So now you can see all of our ghosts are put together. You can make some that are going this way or this way or this way. Um, just to mix it up and get your little banana ghost village together. Another fun Halloween snack that we wanted to show are these cute little vegetable cups. So all you need is a plastic cup. You can have some different sizes if you want to um, and some googly eyes, also different sizes to make little monster vegetable cups. They make eating veggies so fun and so festive for Halloween. Thank you so much for joining us for our Halloween Spooktacular Kids Cook at Home, and we hope to see you next time in December.